so this is part two of the diy bluetooth speaker if you already watched part one well and good let's continue if not you already watched it and the video is in the, is in the video description below so today we are going to fix the power supply as in the battery unit to make it a portable unit remember last time it was powered using an external power supply that i have over here so today we're going to install the battery and try and prevent the air escaping from the ports over here while the music is playing so for the battery unit i'm going to use this it's a power bank that i had lying around in the house it's a 5000 mAh and it produces one ampere just like the transformer so if you already seen i've replaced the bad hole i had over here i've replaced it with this neat rectangular hole and this is what i'm going to use to cover the hole with i have a switch over here and a terminal that i'm going to be using for charging I think I'll paint this. So let's get on to the work. Here's the power bank that I'm going to use. It's a very simple installation. I'm going to tap out the voltages from here. This is the output voltage to the unit back here. You can see there's, there's the amplifier and the Bluetooth module is over there. So, but before the voltage gets to there, it's going to pass through a switch first, this switch over here, so that I can have a simple method to turn it off and on. I'm going also to tap two cables from here, from the micro USB port on the power bank to the port I have installed over here. This will be for charging. I have a port over here that I'm going to connect to my original transformer here. I'm going to connect these two cables. So this is what I'm going to be using for charging. So let's go it to working.
Here is a brief circuit diagram explanation. The white cable is the positive cable soldered directly from the output USB port and the brown one is the negative. So the positive cable goes to the switch. After the switch it goes on into the circuit up there to provide 5 volts. So the switch will turn off everything inside here on or off. As for the charging, I have soldered two direct cables at the back of the micro USB port with the yellow cable being the positive and the orange cable being the negative. So I have made my DIY charge over here. I just plug it in like that and you should see these blinking cables indicate that it's charging when I plug it in. So everything is working apart from the charger. I've tried it, it's not working, it needs more amperage, but a direct link from my phone charger is working. It's working and that shows the percentage, so it's charging around 75% of the capacity. When the other LED over here starts lighting, it's close to being filled up with charging. So I'm just going to search for another charger. So let me demonstrate the on off button. Now Turn that's the mode. On. You can see it's on. And once the circuit over here detects that there is no load being drawn or any current that's being drawn it will automatically shut off the circuit so i love this part of the design because everything is incorporated in here the temperature circuit protection the overcharge over current or overcharging protection everything is inside here so i'm just going to use my hot glue gun and fix this at the bottom there i'm try i'll try and fix this gadget at the back here so that i can be seeing the quantity of charge Testing time, if you remember my switch at the back, just switch it on. Turner mode. Long in mode. Bluetooth mode. Paired.
So hope you have enjoyed guys the only challenge i have right now is preventing the air escaping when the speakers are working from over these holes and these holes over here if you have any suggestions i'll be willing to try them out you saw i inserted a simple plastic bag at the edges over here and the back is really fine it's well and good i really i like the blue lights at the back over there also shows me the amount of charge the problem is that this is a translucent piece of plexiglass and it's hard to make out what is inside there but it works so thanks for watching and goodbye